I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a spare key for this Acura MDX. You order this little device, order the spare key or keys you need. We're going to make two spare keys today. Add in our key by photo cutting service so we cut the key before it even arrives at your house. And then in about 15 minutes, you can have spare keys without leaving home. And what's best? It saves a ton of money from the ripoff prices the car dealership wants to charge you. Let me show you how easy it is. To start, you've got to download the app. It's on both the Apple and the Google Play Store. Once you have the app installed, get it open. You're going to come into key pairing. It tells you to scan the QR code. Be careful, there's a QR code on each side. You want to make sure you scan the one on the top here. It's the side with the light. Okay. Tells us we need Wi-Fi connection, have the keys you plan to pair, and get started. So, we need to come up with our vehicle. You can try the VIN scanning tool here. That's not always accurate. So, it's often easier just to come in and select. We've got an Acura MDX. And it's 2012, so right there, 01 to 2013. Okay, tells me we've got a key. And it's got download an Acura file now. Installing complete. Tells us to plug this thing in. You gotta come down, find the OBD port. And there you go, plug this programmer right into it. To make it easier, you can get an extension cable like this. Then you can see what you're doing. Now I need to make a Bluetooth connection. So it's trying here. We're looking for the blue light to show up because I've used this phone on a different easy installer. Uh, you can only use a programmer for a, a single vehicle because it ties into the, the VIN number. So I gotta match the serial code. Most of the time you should just have one. And it's asking if it wants to allow pairing. Paired, all right. This guy turned blue, see that? And we got a green connected here. Oh, that lost the Bluetooth. Oh. It's got to do a firmware update now. We're going to wait a few minutes while this thing does its update. All right, firmware is updated. This thing remade its Bluetooth connection. Now we can go on to the next step. When you run into problems, it never hurts to start over. Turn on the ignition. Before starting, two clicks to the on position. I'm not running the engine. OK. It says it's loading. Okay, communicating with the vehicle. All right, select the number of keys. Paired keys required. We've got my working key in the ignition with this tile key finder here. I'm gonna start by just doing two of these and then this tells me that sometimes the remote is not added uh, during the first process, in which case we're gonna need to come back and do two of the, this remote button. Okay. Turn off the ignition. Okay. Turn on the ignition with a paired key. So this is my working key here with the tile key finder, the original one. Two clicks to the on position or the run position. Engine didn't start. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Okay, it tells me there's three keys paired. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition with an unpaired key. So, take out my working key and take one of these new keys, put it in, turn it two clicks. Don't start the engine. Turn off the ignition. Note there's a blinking security light right now. That's going to come into play during our programming. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Okay, number of paired keys four. I come look up here. Notice the security light has turned off. Before we go through and try to get this second one working, this first one should work now. I'm just going to turn it on and check it. Yeah, 
There. So I've got two keys now. Now we're going to go ahead and try and get this, uh, this other one working too. Okay, number of paired keys five. I come look up here, security lights turned off. This guy's gonna start the engine now. Click okay. Tells me the maximum number of keys have been paired. So Hondas and Acuras usually allow for a maximum of five keys. So there were a couple out there in the world somewhere. We've now done two more for a total of five. Turn on the ignition. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Okay, is the security light off? Yes. Oh, there we go. Key pairing complete. Excellent. Okay, let's test our key. Okay. We've now got three keys. They all start the engine. There's your original. There's one of the new keys. There's the other new key. Now remember, it warned us at the beginning that the buttons may or may not work. So here's our original one, the tile key finder. That button still works. On this one, that button's broken already, so it doesn't work. Let's see if these new ones programmed. Okay. They did not program. We're going to come back here. i got to enter my vehicle information again. Accurate MDX. Okay. All right, we gotta turn the ignition on. All right, the car starts beeping. Get your key, put it in the lock outside and turn it on. Turn on the ignition. Okay. So, because we already use this one to program the chip inside the key, some of these, the remote program, programs at the same time. Sometimes you have to do the button separate from the chip that allows it to start the engine. So uh, it kind of explains that right here. Turning this to zero, we've got two remotes to program. All right, and it gives us these instructions. Close all the doors, do not lock them. Insert the key, turn the ignition on. Press the unlock button on the fob, then turn the ignition off. Okay. Oh, the unlock button doesn't work on this this key that's broken. Turn the ignition off. Okay. Because this fob has a broken button here, it doesn't work. I'm going to use one of the new keys to do this process. Open my car door. Shut the door. We're kind of starting over at the top here. Take the key. Insert the key. Turn it on. Press the unlock button. Turn it off. On, unlock, off, on, unlock. One more time. Okay. We just heard the lock cycle. We're going to do this one. Heard it cycle. I'm not going to touch, I'm not touching the original one. Turn it off. Let's check all these. Number one works. Number two works. An original one works. Okay, excellent. Before you can program your new spare key, you need to get your keyblade cut to match your existing key. To do that, you can either run all over town trying to find some place to cut it, or you can add our key by photo key cutting service during checkout. It's super easy. Once you place your order, you just take three pictures of your keyblade, have your phone directly above the keyblade so we can see the edges to cut it properly, 
You'll upload those photos after completing checkout on our website. Then we'll cut your keyblade so your new spare key arrives cut, all ready to fit your vehicle. Our key by photo key cutting service is really cool, saves you a ton of time and money, and quite frankly, we think it's pretty amazing. Can you believe how easy that was? Use this little programmer, the app on my phone. I went from one key to three keys for this Acura MDX. How awesome is that? So come check us out, tomskey.com. We back all our products with a full money back guarantee, so if it doesn't work, reach out to customer service, send an email, help at tomskey.com, and we'll help solve the problem. And if we still can't get it to work, send everything back for a full refund. It's that easy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you hit subscribe, like the video, so you can follow along as you program another key or fob for your vehicle. We have tons of vehicles on our website, so come check us out. Leave a comment down below if you got a quote from the car dealership that was crazy expensive. Let other people know about your experience with Tom's Key Company. We aim to provide great customer service. We're here to help you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.